Imagine having a healthy child who falls ill and you have no idea why, even after seeking out many different medical opinions. Kristen and Clayton were parents struggling to find answers. Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, the chief medical officer of Pfizer, sat down with them to learn more about their medical mystery. When was the first thing you noticed um, something might be wrong with Kara? Around 15 months old, she had uncontrollable eye movements, she was walking wobbly, and she started having problems with her arms looking weak. We had two stays in the hospital. They ran what seemed like to us to be every test that they had, but none of them really nailed exactly what was going on. Pretty quickly over the following months, she lost her ability to walk. Her arms were pretty much paralyzed. She was unable to hold her head up completely straight. We saw drooling, some problems with swallowing. Every day we woke up and there was something new that it seemed like she had lost. She was rapidly deteriorating, but we didn't have any answers. What happened next? We were approached by a team of doctors who said that they thought that we should discuss getting some genetic testing done. But because we both were healthy and Kara was born seemingly healthy, why are we talking about genetics? Because we just don't think this is something that's caused by a genetic problem. And what did you find out after they completed the testing? They discovered that she had a really rare genetic disorder. They told us this is her diagnosis and we have a treatment we want to offer her. And how's Kara doing now? If you didn't know, you might see her on the playground and if you didn't see us <laughs> chasing behind her to make sure that she was okay, you would see her using her arms, playing. She's had permanent hearing loss, permanent vision mm -hmm. loss, and she still does have some times that she falls and is unsteady and some, some muscle weakness, but overall it's doing much better. What is it that you would want people to know? Most of the children who have this disorder, um, a lot of them are in wheelchairs. A lot of them are profoundly deaf and completely blind. And that's because they went months or years longer than Kara did before they had genetic testing done and before they were diagnosed. I think genetic testing is usually approached as a, a test of last resort. I just think about all the children who, if they had maybe had genetic testing done sooner, how much better off would they be now? Well. Thank you for sharing your story and your time with us. Thank you. Of course. Dr. Frieda Lewis Hall, the Chief Medical Officer of Pfizer, is here today. Welcome back. And thank you know, you, Kara, thank you. I, the one thing I will say about Kara is she looks happy and you all may have, have realized watching that Kara has a progressive neuromuscular disorder. It's caused by a vitamin deficiency and her condition is rare, which is why it was so difficult to get it diagnosed correctly. And you know, that's right. But while Kara's disease affects less than 100 people worldwide, there are many, many rare diseases. If you add them all up, they affect nearly 30 million people in the U.S. alone. A genetic mutation can be passed down from a parent or from both parents, but many rare diseases are genetic mutations that they arise spontaneously, even if the parents are completely healthy. Now our DNA, we're gonna do a little lesson here, identified by four letters, A, T, C, and G. These are then arranged in specific sequences. If one of these DNA letters is switched or missing, a genetic mutation can then occur in your child. And that's where genetic testing comes in. Now these tests can be used to detect a genetic disease in an unborn baby, or it can be used to see if a parent has a gene for a disease that they may pass on to their children. And I will say in Kara's case, genetic tests can be used to diagnose a very rare disease. In other cases, they can test for genetic mutations before they even cause symptoms, which is a good thing. Absolutely. And I really want to amplify the point, though, uh, that Kara's family made, which is genetic testing is not a cure. But it can open the door uh, to an accurate diagnosis that then helps you find potential treatments as they did in Kara's case. And we are so thankful for that. There's so much to know about genetic testing. You can go to gethealthystayhealthy.com and there there's lots of information. And there's also exclusive footage of the amazing interview that I got to do with this incredible little girl and her family. It was so cool to see Wasn't her running it? around the playground with a big smile on her face. Oh, and That's she, was, was, right she was just a little dynamo. And the footage is just heartwarming and very informative. Well, Dr. Frida, thanks so much for sharing her story with us. Thank you.